like the Muslims of India are scattered all over India. Same situation. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending a message now that the leadership of the Indian Muslims should understand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Musa and to his brother Harun, وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَىٰ مُوسَىٰ وَأَخِيهِ أَنْ تَبَوَّأَ لِقَوْمِكُمَا بِمِصْرَ بُيُوتًا You must leave, your people must leave wherever they are in Egypt and go to Misr. Misr being the eastern delta, not the whole of Egypt. If you say Misr is the whole of Egypt, you, have, you cannot make any sense out of this verse of the Quran. So leave wherever you are and go to the eastern delta. Establish your residence there. And وَجَعَلُوا بُيُوتَكُمْ قِبْلَةً And when you begin to establish your residence there, then all the rest of the people must move in that direction. Qibla meaning direction. Direction. Leave wherever you are and head in that direction where Musa and Harun السلام, have established their residence. Hmm? This is for security. It is easy for Fir'aun to attack Banu Israel hmm? when they are scattered all over. It is easy for small numbers of armed Hindus to attack Muslims if they are scattered all over. But if you leave wherever you are and consolidate yourself in one area and you choose an area which is most helpful for you, the Eastern Delta is strategically the most favorable area for Banu Israel. Why? Because if you have to escape from Egypt, this is the easiest place from which to escape. To safety, out of Egypt. You see? So go to those areas where you would have greater security and also strategically more favorable for an escape. But the leadership of the Indian Muslim community apparently have not understand, I have not understood this story of Musa and Ashura in the Quran. Hmm? When this had taken place, now Firaun is getting gray. When he sees Banu Israel, all leaving wherever they are and congregating here, the first suspicion he has is that maybe if Musa alayhi salam is planning to enter into an alliance with hostile neighbors, get them to come and help him, and cause the Eastern Delta to secede. <laughs> secede. And then Musa Islam will rule over Misr. It is because of this that Fir'aun now declares to his court and to his people, Alaysa li mulku Misr. Do I not have sovereignty over Misr? If we translate the word Misr here means the whole of Egypt, it has no meaning. <laughs> no meaning, everybody knows. But if we translate the word Misr here to mean the eastern delta, now it, means, it has meaning. That he is afraid that Banu Israel concentrating in this area could have strategic implications for Egypt in terms of the territorial integrity of the state. The same thing is going to happen if the Muslims of India were to leave wherever they are scattered all over India 
and begin to congregate in numbers that are large enough. Say, the smallest Muslim community must be five million. Nothing less than five million. If you're five million strong and consolidated, then when a gang of Hindus want to come, and not all Hindus want to attack Muslims, not all. When a gang of the militant Hindus want to come and attack you, they can't come with one thousand. <laughs> not to attack five million. <laughs> huh? They can't come with fifty thousand. They're going to have to come with an army. An army a few million strong. And then there would be the problem of public opinion. You see? So you would have greater security if you leave wherever you are and congregate in special, special areas. However, when you congregate in these special areas, you have to choose areas which are strategically favorable for you to make a retreat. So that if you congregate, for example, in the eastern Punjab, then you can make a dash over to Pakistan. But when you do that, then the Hindus and the Indian government would say, well, don't we have sovereignty over the whole of India? Looks as though these Muslims are attempting to break up India and get parts of India to secede from India. This is what Pharaoh is now worried about. Worried about it. The second thing that is affecting Pharaoh is that, hey, maybe that Musa alayhi Islam is not planning to seize this territory. That's why he has all the Banu Israel here. Maybe the reason why they're here is because they want to run. They want to run. If they run and they're able to cross the Red Sea, then they will escape. And if we allow them to escape, if they succeed in escaping, not only will it be a big public humiliation for me and my government, in the eyes of the Egyptian people. But secondly, and more dangerous, it will set a bad precedent for all the other slaves. <laughs> See? So now, Pharaoh responds to the command which has come from Allah and which has been enforced by Musa alayhi salam and Harun alayhi salam and all of Banu Israel are now in Misr. Hmm? Pharaoh responds, and he now plans to attack. Let me deal with this problem before they can do one of two things. Enter into an alliance and get others to come or attempt to escape. When he assembles his armed force, or is in the process of assembling his armed force to come and attack, and when he believes now that this is the time when we have them all together, we'll finish them off this time. It is at that time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives orders to Banu Israel, to Musa al-Islam, during the night time, during the night time, flee. And when you flee, you're heading towards the Red Sea because your destination is to get out of Egypt and to go back to the Holy Land. Hmm? So, Banu Israel, let me deal with this problem before they can do one of two things. Enter into an alliance and get others to come or attempt to escape. When he assembles his armed force, or is in the process of assembling his armed force, to come and attack, and when he believes now that this is the time when we have them all together, we'll finish them off this time. It is at that time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives orders to Banu Israel, to Musa al-Islam, during the night time, during the night time, flee. And when you flee, you're heading towards the Red Sea because your destination is to get out of Egypt and to go back to the Holy Land. 
So Banu Israel is, is fleeing during the night time. And when Pharaoh hears that they are fleeing, then very hastily, whatever he could accumulate of his armed force, he pursues them. When the daylight comes, he has already made considerable progress <laughs> towards catching up with them. <laughs> 